Do you see this video? This is Jujimufu, bodybuilder with millions of subscribers. Ah! And what he smelled before he lifted was smelling salts. These are the world's strongest smelling salts. And he's not the only one. Also, any hole? Have four? And recently it's also presented in every video on TikTok. And it's not just an act. This is really the effect behind the product. I want to give it a try because, I mean, I work out first time. But is it legal, safe for use, and indeed improves performance, or it's all bullshit? Let's begin. What's up guys, welcome to your fitness pal, Salt. Six years ago, this powerlifter, Andrew, did a deadlift with 785 pounds, which is crazy. However, a few moments before the lift, you could see him standing at the corner and smelling something from a small box. Now, you're probably thinking, how just smelling something from a small box can have such an impact on a person and improve performance? But if you've tried it once, you'll know very well what its strong effects are on, well, everything. <laughs> a few years later you could see even Larry Wills use it, even Juji and the Mountain, and actually every person who trains and uploads it to TikTok. And all of that just in order to improve performance. But is it true? If you take your soul shaker at home, open the lid and sniff it, you might get a few grains stuck in your nose because it's not that. Although it's called smelling salt, what's really inside is ammonia or more correctly diluted ammonia dissolved in a mixture of water and ethanol okay but how does it have that effect so technically in the past they used ammonia in order to wake up whoever fainted <laughs> when we inhale this thing the strong smell and the gas that comes out irritates the membranes of the nose and lungs and thereby triggers an inhalation reflex resulting in getting away from this stuff this reflex alters the pattern of breathing resulting in improved respiratory flow rates and possibly alertness and sometimes to too much alertness now, recently there were tons of videos on TikTok of people using this dilated ammonia before they perform the exercise. If it's a bench press, deadlift, squat. And the survey from 2014 showed out of 250 powerlifters, half of them are using ammonia. And approximately 80% of them believed it improved their performance. So, did we finally find an ergogenic product, which is not a myth? So, first of all, yes, this. And also this but have we found a product that improves strength and performance at the same breath ah! let's check but there's a problem when we jump into research papers and not to conclusions you need to divide people into groups one group that sniffs ammonia a control group that does nothing and a placebo they supposed to think that they smelled ammonia when it's not really ammonia and here comes the problem if you saw the video from before how can you make someone react like that first time without really exposing him to the real substance. How? Let's check. It was a bit rainy upstairs, but the show must go on. There was a study on two groups. One group that sniffed ammonia three seconds before the lift, and one group that inhaled vapor up. What is that? <laughs> it's a mean substance that has a very, very strong smell like this and this is why they used it in the research now the participants were trained individuals with more than three years of experience and they performed two lifts squat and bench press results there was no significant difference between the number of repetitions they performed but how does it make sense we've seen how it affects people oh that's right but maybe more arousal does not necessarily mean better performance what did it smell like like death or does it? Second study. Let's review. Here there were three groups. A group that inhaled ammonia, a group that sniffed vapor rub, and a group that hasn't smelled anything. God bless. They tested maximal force and peak rate of force development expressed during an isometric mid-thigh pull. Yep, exactly that. All together with the jump test. Results. No significant effects were noted for the jump test and for the isometric mid-thigh pull. But there was a potential ergogenic effect on rate of force development. And it was just for those who inhaled ammonia. So amazing. It means that it works, right? Right? Yeah, maybe. 
not really. There was actually another study and another study and another one. They all concluded that as of today, there is no support for the practice of ammonia inhalation to improve performance. However, it can cause an increase in alertness. Woo! What can we do with that? I'll pass this problem to you. But we're not done yet. Pay attention to this. There was a study in which the participants improved their performance within a few minutes. And they weren't beginners and weren't just regular participants. Rather, national level powerlifters. Five minutes prior to their lift, the researchers gave them something. And then they performed a squat, a bench press and a deadlift. Pay close attention. In all of the lifts after they took this substance, they lifted between 9 and 11 kilograms more on average. Well, dear your fitness pal, what did they take? So. Listen, they've brought them two very special pills. The researchers told the participants that they've got a powerful anabolic steroids with an immediate effect. Well, can you guess what was inside the pills? Okay, we'll tell you. It was saccharine, an artificial sweetener. But it's not over yet. In order to make the ambiance a little more salty, no pun intended, they informed half of them that they really took just a sweetener, not an anabolic steroid. And then they told them to perform the squat deadlift and bench press again. Results. Not only that none of them were able to lift what they lifted before, some of them even lifted less weight. This type of research shows us the impact of the placebo effect and how it's very, very difficult to check if that these are the world's strongest amount of salt. Really makes us lift more. If there's even evidence that the sweetener makes us lift more. On the other hand, according to the same studies, the inhalation of ammonia didn't cause a decrease in performance either. Therefore, if it helps you and makes you psychologically more aroused, you're free to do whatever you want. We're not mad. Our recommendation is to work according to science and that you can do if you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like and share and we'll see you in the next video which will even be crazier than this one. Bye-bye.